Thank you for watching today's presentation brought to you by EAC Product Development Solutions. It's part of a series entitled The Big Idea. The topic we're covering today is the data management dilemma. What can small and medium businesses do to easily manage product data and reduce risk? So let's dive right in and talk first about the collaborative tools a number of small and medium businesses use. The first is File Transfer Protocol, or FTP sites. These are used to exchange files over the internet. The second is a shared folder infrastructure, or network share. This consists of a device or a piece of information that can be remotely accessed from another computer. This is often associated with peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. So we're clear, these tools can work for many SMBs in many industries. They're sufficient particularly in the Microsoft suite of applications, when the file or document has one creator, but it needs to be accessed by a number of different people. What we're exploring today is how FTP sites and shared folders may be insufficient for managing product development data. Anyone who works with CAD data knows it is large and complex. Looking at this illustration, you get an idea of how the volume of information starts to explode, especially with 3D CAD systems that use part, assembly, drawing files, and visualizations. Factor in that there will be multiple versions and revisions to those drawings, and multiple users. And suddenly, you've got a lot of data to keep track of. Plain and simple, FTP sites and shared folder structures were not designed to manage these relationships. Another factor to consider, in a workgroup environment, engineers need to divvy their work and collaborate. FTP sites and shared folders do not keep track of who has what version of a file. This means if you're using these tools to manage your data, you're consistently risking that revisions won't be captured, time will be wasted, and the wrong product will go to production. We chose this graphic to illustrate that CAD data can be difficult to share. FTP sites and shared folders only store and transfer the data. This means that typically, non-engineering departments, customers, or suppliers can't view or engage with the information if they don't have the right CAD system on their computer. In a sense, it's like the engineers are just throwing the information over a wall. The CAD data is not being leveraged as it should or could be. On top of that, when someone outside the engineering workgroup needs to access the CAD files, engineers have the laborious task of turning drawings into a format that is viewable by other parties, such as PDF or JPEG. If marketing, for instance, needs to view revisions or updates, engineering may have to waste a lot of time simply turning their CAD files into viewable PDFs. And finally, another limitation to consider when dealing with FTP sites or shared folders is the fact that both tools are restricted in their search functionality. Locating the right file can be a very cumbersome process, even if your company or workgroup has a formalized naming scheme. We're all familiar with the Windows search dog. He's a friendly little icon and all, but oftentimes very ineffective in helping us locate the documents we need. Now that we've discussed the limitations of FTP sites and shared folders, let's talk about PDM, or Product Data Management. This structure is our recommendation as a data management solution for small and medium-sized businesses like yours. PDM is a system used during product design to store and retrieve data to ensure information consistency throughout the life cycle of a product. Essentially, this is a central knowledge repository that keeps track of things like part numbers and descriptions, version and revision history, and task ownership. Now let's talk about some of the key benefits of PDM. Firstly, it reduces the time spent accessing and searching for data. It also reduces time communicating file changes and design iterations. Also, it improves productivity because 3D data is accessible company-wide. Workgroups are more productive because it's clear who owns a particular task or action item. And not only that, 
they no longer have to spend their time turning CAD files into PDFs. Also, PDM is secure. When we talk about your CAD data, we're talking about some of your company's most critical, valuable intellectual property. PDM provides the secure collaboration space your product development data deserves. Moving on, I want to do my best to dispel some of the common myths that seem to prevail in the industry, such as there are no PDM options that fit a small or medium business's budget. Windchill from PTC offers several options depending on the company needs, and all of these are scalable. We recommend you check out Windchill PDM Link and Windchill Product Point. Another myth to dispel we'll never have the infrastructure to host a PDM system. That's most likely not true. Most small and medium-sized businesses have the foundation for PDM, and they may not even realize it. One of the solutions I just mentioned to you was Product Point, which leverages Microsoft SharePoint technology. And if your company is already using a Microsoft Exchange server, you have the infrastructure you need to implement Windchill Product Point. And finally, some may say file folders and FTP sites are working for us. If you know someone who is insistent upon this idea, especially if they're in the engineering industry, we recommend you share today's presentation with them. As we've discussed, FTP sites and shared folders have their place in many businesses and industries. But when it comes to managing CAD data, consider the cost of rework, lost files, and lost productivity engineers are spending searching for the right information. This concludes today's presentation. We hope you found this information useful. Perhaps it piqued your interest to learn more about the data management solutions available to small and medium-sized businesses. Look for us on Twitter. We are regularly sharing news and information. Or check EAC out at our website at www.eacpds.com.